Continuing on today with our discussion of out-of-place channels in Mauritania and associated and accompanying phenomena, anything we see in the area. So uh, we will look at this area down into Senegal today and then some of this area and maybe we'll get uh, to this area as well. So let's get going on that. Place marks on. Okay, let's start over here. Old gritty. What do we got? Um, okay, so. Uh, I don't know if I want to focus on this. Uh, there's. I would bet that this is modern, anyways. 2003. Uh, bummer, but yeah, most likely modern. Here we see more of these weird, uh, weirdly shaped circle things. So yeah, and this grid showing up. So that's modern stuff, whatever that is. Uh, just kind of ignore that now. Uh, gritty, grittiness. Well, maybe uh, gritty, probably new, so most likely skip over this. Uh, just plots of land, looks like, for some type of activity. These might be livestock animals. Just ignore that for now. Oddly regular edges of curving path. Um, okay. I'm referring to this. So, uh, these like segmented patches or like short paths, like from here to here, and then from here to here, and maybe from there to there, and from there to there, perhaps. Uh, yeah, I don't really have any strong feelings about this one. Could be natural or modern or whatever. Maybe this thing. But we have some modern activity nearby, obviously. And here. I do think this is a strange building pattern or construction pattern. Just these, these lots, these bounded areas. But what do I know? And maybe another instance here of the uh, this kind of path path like segmented little little bits here little paths looking slightly awkward to me and even this right here and here looking fairly artificial to me not that it's not uh, conventional activity or like a down-to-earth explanation, but see, it looks pretty similar back in 2003, at least. Um, this line as well, maybe, might even be a road, uh, but yeah, something about these, uh, these little outcrops here might have some type of awkward path around them, or moat almost, not really, but resembling that you see these like this border around it and even these ridges or um, whatever these are these these lines you kind of see something there um, hmm.
So yeah, just worth considering that some of these uh, little outcrops or these little, um, not islands, but I mean, you know, you know what I mean, these little splotches or outcrops or whatever. They may have some artificial aspect around them. Like, yeah, I definitely see this. Pretty awkward, in my opinion. Now, is it like mining or, you know, diamond mining or something like that? Or exploratory activity? Here we see a path across it like this. I'm saying it's, there's a good chance it's goofy terraforming weirdness. And maybe animal trails here or something. But yeah, just anything that looks like this in the area seems to have that, uh, not, maybe a little here, it seems to have that artificial border around it, kind of. Not so much on this one, maybe here, not so much. Maybe a straight line there. Uh, okay, well, could be any number of things, of course. Possible straight lines there. And this right here is what I'm talking about, like that. This maybe even, that's just something kind of new that I just noticed. Uh, yeah, just more like more of the, the gibberish aspect or um, strange uh, odd patterns. Okay, uh, so we looked at this. Uh, so these stone circles, they are new, so we'll see them popping up recently since 2012. Looks like some of them show up, like, uh, see some possible underlying patterns maybe, but not necessarily anything weird. Like, yeah, this is new. This, I just wonder what that is, because it's like... Um, it's probably just my, my brain's failing me at coming up with a good explanation. There's probably a good explanation for just the modern work. It's just, it looks weird. And so, uh, ha excuse me, haphazard. But, I, I mean, we certainly see people in the area. I think they're just doing some... Uh, search activity or farming activity or mining or something and then uh, or even like corrals for animals maybe but it's just <laughs> such weird patterns for that presumably it's these people doing it but these are looking like more regular patterns and then they, they just get weirder along the outskirts I just wonder how they how they decide to do these uh, to make these shapes like what what criteria are they using to create these geometries if they're using any at all it might look haphazard because they're not the shape isn't important that's not an important consideration for whatever operation they're doing so they don't really take it into account and they just make whatever they just throw up a, a fence or whatever this is just as quickly as possible and they don't pay much attention to the shape it's possible and again I will throw out the more uh, speculative and conspiratorial angle on this that uh, it's both older and newer patterns and then we have some type of strange effort to create even more newer patterns to obscure the older ones. 
as possible, or it's just some long ongoing script unfolding of making odd uh, artificial patterns. See all these. But yeah, let's look at the historical photos. Probably at least some of these are new. Uh, these have been there, well, we only see a couple of years back. But uh, I think it's worth discussing. I mean, just because we do have the so many stone circles in Africa, it's interesting to see some that are modern that pop up here. So WPTF patterns, stone walls, maybe awkward shapes. And we see not, not all of the uh, shapes have like this dark border, whatever this is, if it's stacked rocks or not sure. Um, I could probably just do some extra research for an hour or two and try and figure out what's going on in these. Like I'm sure if we go just Googled the name of these towns, we would get good images. Um, maybe I'll do that in a later video. Here's a long path here, a long straight path. Is it a road? Likely. Uh, likely a road. Hmm. Good chance that's a road, so I should probably just forget about that. Yeah, here, kind of trailing off into a thinner path or narrower. You're picking up again. Can't really be sure. Well, probably could if I did a little more research, but. More of these circle things around this mound type of deal or whatever this is. All right. Stone circles. Stone walls. Along a new path. Uh, just mumbling to myself. Bear with me. Uh, so Taiba is making. These patterns, here's some older ones, or some on the outskirts. Possible angular indications here. Could be anything. Mimicry, cartoonish river, maybe. Don't really have any strong examples, just spidey senses. Uh, or hunch. Like, see, the this is what irks me. The, uh, uh, the like, s segmented, uh, abrupt end or uh, interrupting aspect to these uh, streaks. Like even here, or there, or there, it's subtle, but it's like there's a the uh, the river bends are just they occasionally end abruptly. Like here, actually, this is a pretty good example. Uh, like this looks a little abrupt and odd. Even here, it's kind of faint. Kind of faint and subtle, but looking like potentially artificial streaks, and it's tough because there's the the modern activity in the area also, so probably can't come to any strong conclusions here. Certainly a straight line there, whatever that is. Maybe continuing here, it looks like. Let's look at that in historical photos. Maybe. 
Oh, so this used to be one of those bounded areas. Okay. Uh, or earthy. Yeah, it just looks like a mound of earth, maybe, that's... Uh, thrown up for whatever reason. Um, see, like, uh, just observing and considering the potential artificial nature of some of these streaks or some type of artificial editing to the like this segmentation here could be more modern work circular thing there <laughs> I've said it probably about 20 times already in this video, but just the shape of these is not ceasing to uh, puzzle me. These goofy shapes. And these shapes are making much more sense. And then they just go out here and make more awkward ones, but could be totally down to earth explanation, so I should probably leave it for now <clears throat> okay let's go to some other place marks uh, greeting it already touched on that right there okay so let's go back over this way. So we have these derpy ridge things, and this does appear to be modern activity. Um, here we have one with a, uh, this uh, linear aspect to it, some type of whatever's going on there. This one as well, you see that kind of linear thing path up to it. Uh, so yeah, these uh, these ridge shapes or or ditches, whatever they are, are like short walls or, or paths of something here, and some patchy modern activity. Uh, let's see if we get any good historical photos. Um, not really. But yeah, so all these little ridge structures are partial enclosures. And we, we see people nearby, so this could just be like a mining path, like surface mining. They just trace any path uh, kind of more or less aimlessly looking for whatever they're looking for. That's possible. It's a good explanation. Uh, I just, I noticed that they look like these, uh, similar feature on, uh, Isla de Alagranza nearby, which is up here. It's part of Spain, apparently, but we see these, uh, these ridges like this, or wall or ditch or whatever it is. So more of this, and likely some type of industrial activity. Uh, or the unfolding of some strange script <clears throat> or program. Then we also see, in addition, we see these like uh, these wavy patterns, which uh, we see more of up here. So this needs to be considered as well in the context of those, some here. I wouldn't say it's terrace farming. I don't know what it is. 
uh, whether these are newer or older. We have 2000 still there. So they're at least as old as the year 2000. Here we have more weirdiness. These and some kind of people here, maybe. This is not, uh, yeah, there's somebody doing something. It's a pretty small island, so I'm not sure what those are, but some kind of ridgy pattern or a ditch or something. So let's go back to Mauritania area and look at these. Uh, these derpy ridges, very similar in the look to them, I would say. So that may be the same type of modern activity or ancient activity or whatever's going on. Just food for thought, for consideration, and also the, the patchiness uh, or the worked over land, most likely some type of modern something. So these is what it is, whatever it is, and no real substantial commentary I can add that I haven't already said. This angular thing here. And given all the little miniature human uh, little outposts here. It's almost certainly their work. Yeah, this looking like some type of ditch that someone just drove. They just drove along a path with a tractor or some type of vehicle or something. It's pretty large and wide. Okay, that's probably enough of that. This little thing there, more of them here, looking partially buried, maybe. Uh, just, yeah, in this whole area. See that? Okay. Um, anything else I want to point out? Tooled out. Hmm. So I guess I'm referring to these kind of patchy, uh, pale, light brown uh, streaks or strips. I wouldn't say tooled out is the best word, but maybe like here's something going on. Maybe even along this ridge, some type of artificial intervention. Stone circle? Maybe. Another one? But yeah, it looks like a network of these goofy walls. Uh, yep. Yep. So, that needs to be considered. Almost looks like natural mud flat or mud cracks, but not quite because it's kind of circular in some spots and some artificial patterns to my eye. Like this. Yeah, I was just looking at these streaky things, uh, whatever's fairly straight ravine, kind of straightish. Let's get a closer look and somewhat well-defined edge along some of it. Hard to see with the shadow, but looking like a nice path through the rock there. 
of some kind. Yeah, another straight gouge maybe, or path or whatever's. Fairly straight long line nearby. So this type of thing. And here's Yeah, see it like going across here. Some something. Don't think it's road in this case. Kind of fizzling out and picking up over here again. Some kind of crease or seam in the bedrock, maybe. Uh, another one up here. This long guy right here. Fairly straight. I wouldn't say it's perfectly straight, but straight enough to look strange. Kind of blurry image here. Just following it, getting a feel for it. And looking at the surrounding area with some possible angular patchiness here going on, if you see that. Here, kind of faint, subtle indications of artificial something. All right, those grooves. So we looked at these just now. <clears throat> uh, how about this one? This ravine, fairly wide. Uh, this probably wouldn't qualify as like a really straight one. Maybe. It's not as long, so we don't, like that one could be natural if any of this is natural, whatever natural means. It's just from a certain zoom level, some of these look awkwardly too perfect, like from here or from here, kind of. Could just be the coloration on the image processing. Maybe even like, oh, I already got that one. Uh, straight line of some kind. See this? What is this? Starts and stops, it appears. Looking fairly crisp, so it might be modern. And then fizzles out there. So whatever that is. And then more of these. These boundary things, whatever these are. All right. Outline of something. Yep. And here's a mini little one. Another weird outline of something. Okay. Multiple additional ones. Let's see. Here's some people, I think, or some buildings or whatever. Uh, fairly straight, faint line. Looks like here. Not sure if that's uh, protruding or indented. Almost like a angular something going on here. If you see that, 
possible angular weirdness going on up this little hillside. These might be modern ditches or something. Yeah, looking kind of fresh and new in these older photos, even though they're kind of blurry. But it, yeah, it looks like there, there may have been bleh, there may have been some industrial operation around here, perhaps. Mm. Here I'm seeing some like angularness to it, almost like something's chunking up or chunking out the side of this. Like just here, it's kind of faint and subtle. Maybe a stretch, but possible angularness. And then more of these things. Okay, so that's what's going on in this area. Uh, straight line, straight line. What else? Anything else? Oh, this, this here, and then another one over here. This long line. And surface mining, strip mining, exploratory oil activity or something. Multiple straightish ravines like this kind of straightness here. Uh, and this guy almost, but not quite. See here, kind of almost awkwardly straight. We see more blatant examples. These are a little, they meander a bit more than some of the other examples. They're a little bit more irregular. But some of the other ones up here are pretty darn straight, like that one. Okay. Multiple straightish ravines. Fairly straight groove. Got those already. Scrape marks. I wouldn't say scrape marks is the right word. It just kind of subjectively looks like that in these uh, satellite images, but I don't know that they're scrape marks. Erosion marks, maybe, or... Uh, just the bedding planes of the rock, the orientation of the, the rock sutures or fissures or seams. Scaly, I don't know that that's a great word either, but it's just kind of the subjective look of the segmented uh, layout of the, the rocks or the breakup of the rocks. Uh, these fine lines here are looking borderline uh, a little too perfect, if you follow me on that, like here, especially like right there. Just uh, Subjectively, on a hunch, just, eh, just, it's, it just barely gets to that point of, oh, is, is it artificial, you know? Obviously, there's some meandering natural flowiness to it, but also some indications of, like, segmentation or polygon look to it in opposing directions, if you see these in full screen. So it's like... It's it's just it just gets to that point for me where it's these faint lines look almost too perfect in some spots like just a bunch of little rectangles. So again, the idea the notion of a sliding scale between natural flowy patterns or organic patterns, and then on the other end of the spectrum, uh, uh, very artificial patterns. So organic versus artificial as a sliding scale, and then we have all, all type of intermediate patterns, potentially. <clears throat> Here, definitely looking like a 
a straight abrupt edge there. Uh, and I think I have to leave in a minute. This is going to be a short one. Yeah, about 10 minutes. I got to wrap this up. Uh, this long channel here looking kind of s fairly straight, especially from like this, this zoom level here. So get the text out of the way and this strikes me this is a wider one like some of the other ones are like super fine or thin or narrow but this one's pretty wide like how how wide is this it's maybe 100 feet or so feet uh okay 500 feet so pretty wide and See a settlement here doing something. I don't think they're they're doing this. <laughs> I suppose I could be wrong, but a 500 foot fairly straight gash. Not to mention all the other fairly straight gouges or gashes or channels. Uh, I don't know that that's feasible for modern crews, especially since this appears to be like solid bedrock. Um, like I, I could imagine a 30 or 40 or 50 foot tunnel, but a 500 foot long or 500 foot wide long channel like this is, I would say, out of place and perhaps beyond the capabilities or feasibility of modern work, modern equipment. And of course, it needs to be considered alongside these things, these long channels or whatever. Place marks back on. So we just looked at this channel like, <clears throat> channel esque, uh, channel, uh, channel like feature. And I just noticed something. Uh, this. Here we go. These fairly straight, well-defined edges here. See that? And not perfectly straight, not, not perfectly consistent in width. It's a little wider here, maybe a tad narrower there. Uh, and just observing some slight angularness to it, or almost patchy look to it. If you, <clears throat> if you see what I mean, like see this this very f fine line here, you would have to be in full screen, but um, almost like there's some rectangular aspect to it going in this direction across. It's possible. It could be because of the natural flow of the rock striations, and then we have these fine parallel lines to consider whether that's natural ro erosion or seams in the rock uh, or, or artificial patterns, whatever it is, needs to be considered. Straight groove up here. Did I cover that one? Scaly, again, not the right word, but you get the idea. Okay, uh, and some possible artificial segmentation, like those weird operations we're seeing, or the weird walls or whatever people are doing, and then looking like patchiness, like almost artificial chunking, or uh, some type of almost rectangular or angular activity going on here. Potentially. And so we've got this. Not that, not too straight, I would say. Actually, this might not be a great example. Again, more of these modern walls, whatever, whatever this is. Uh, 
Okay. So I think uh, we'll pick up over here in the next video. This this straightish activity um, in this area we'll cover, and then over here and over here. Um, you know what? I don't think I will cover that. So just in the next video, hopefully it'll, it'll be pretty short as well. We'll pick up over here and and finish up Mauritania with uh, all this area. Okay, um, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.